Good evening YouTube, this is Geographic Scholar. The topic for this video will be about map scale. Now, the first question we have to ask is, what is a map? A map is a graphic representation of a geographic area, such as the globe, or on this map, the state of Minnesota. Now, what is map scale? Map scale is basically what you have when you take the ratio of the number of units on the map relative to the number of units on the ground of a geographic area. To show you how this works, we're going to use this map as an example. I have done some calculations. There are 60 miles on the scale bar. 60 miles is equal to 96.5606 kilometers. I did this because I have a ruler that measures in centimeters. Now, when I measured this all out, it came up about to be 10.6 centimeters and that would be equal to 96.5606 kilometers that is what that is what you have now take this and we divide this by 10.6 What do you have? You divide this on both sides. And what you get? One, sorry, you get one centimeter equal to 9.1 kilometers. Please remember, I did some of these calculations on a calculator beforehand. So, if you happen to have a calculator with you, this will be helpful. Now, I've got a ruler to measure out the distance between Minneapolis, Minnesota and Faribault, Minnesota. Now, the distance on the map would be 8.35 centimeters. Times 9.1 kilometers. 8.35, please remember I'm doing the Senate calculator. That would be 75.985 kilometers. That's the calculation you got. So basically it is, if you were to use the calculation, it would be 75.985 kilometers from Minneapolis to Faribault. That is how you do a calculation of distance. This, let's see how scale works. You got 9.1 kilometers. Let's change this to centimeters. 9.1 kilometers times 100,000 centimeters. There are 100,000 centimeters in a kilometer. What you get? 910,000 centimeters. So your scale for this map, the ratio is. One 
centimeter on the mat to 910,000 centimeters on the ground. That is your scale. Now I'm going to go and calculate this on Google Maps to see how accurate we were. Now, it says right there, it's hard to get a good image, but it says 50.9 miles. We're going to calculate 50.9 miles. We have it right here. Eighty one point nine one kilometers. I was off by about six kilometers. Please remember that there is a highway here, so you have little little curves and bits going out of going all over the place. And I use the ruler, which is basically a straight line. But my point is, that is how you can calculate relative distance. Why is this important? In the era where we have technology and GPS, yes, it is very helpful and accurate. However, what if your GPS breaks down? It is important that you know how to read a map. It is important that you know map scale. It is important that you know how to calculate distance. And especially now with gas prices being the way that they are, being so high, you wanna know how much gas you're gonna need for a trip. And that is part of the importance of knowing how to read maps, how to use them, and how to do calculations. This is Geographic Scholar. I will see you guys later.